I'm here with a delivery from Japan. So this just showed up on the semi truck. Ta da! Here we have the coveted Subaru 6MT. Not as coveted as some. This is the non DCCD version, but six speed nonetheless. We have the R180 differential. Came with the shifter linkage. That's appreciated. This is one of the cheaper options since, uh, in this case, it did not have DCCD, as I mentioned, as well as I don't believe it has the speed sensor that you normally find right over here on this side. And what that means is you can't just plug and play into the speed sensor and your Impreza axles are uh, torched off there. The only thing that I'm a little sad about is this line right here seems to be a little bit pinched. But, I mean, it's a pretty short line. It goes back to here. Assuming that's for oiling purposes, but I'm sure I can replace that. We got the starter came with Shinitsu Denzo. Remanufactured in Japan. So, here is the number on the transmission. It's the model number. Uh, it is from a JDM. 07 model year legacy spec B. One other thing, and it came with this clutch. So, I'm gonna have a look at the clutch and flywheel. See if it's possible to use just to keep some cost down and maybe get a little bit of life out of it. So, let's take a look at it. information off of it. Now overall the clutch and uh, flywheel look a little gnarly but I mean they have been rusting for a while so it's hard really to tell. I think I'll have to take some brake cleaner to both of them before I really uh, can make up my mind and I have to run to the store. Anyway so we'll get some of that and see where that goes. But man overall excitement for finally having the Subaru six-speed in my life. So this is pretty much the cheapest way you can six-speed swap your Impreza or WRX. Um, we're going to be using a 3.9 R160 in the back. That means we don't have to deal with the axles because they are different in the spline count for the spindles. And if you'd want to upgrade the rear suspension to STI, uh, that'd be like a thousand bucks probably. So. You could do that. You could get custom axles for the rear and run the R180. Um, we are not going to do that for starters. Uh, also, this six-speed is the non-DCCD. I really just need it for strength. Uh, I might go to a track event from time to time, but that's not the main uh, focus of my car. It's more of a daily driver. It actually came with a clutch. I'm going to attempt to reuse the clutch it came with. Makes it a little bit cheaper. Came with a starter. Came with a shifter linkage and it came with the STI transmission mount which uh, will allow me to not have to buy those things so this is non-desirable because it does not have the speed sensor and it also does not have DCCD so it's gonna be perfect for what I need I just don't want another five speed to break so and if you're shopping around uh, those are some of the things that you can look for to try to save some cash and if you really just wanted to know some of the differences well there you have it all right, one evening of fun, and I have the five-speed out. A couple uh, first observations. So we roughly have the transmissions lined up here, and take a look back here. Probably why the drive shaft doesn't fit. So the end of this transmission is a good, mm, looks like maybe two and a half inches past where the end of this one stops. Yeah, so as far as the mounting the transmission goes, this transmission came with the uh, STI or 
legacy transmission mount. This one actually sits a couple inches higher off the mount. Um, it's been said that you can use the WRX uh, mount, but uh, it's just not as tall as the STI or legacy mount. So um, I'm glad that it came with that. So my transmission also came with the front axle stubs. Uh, that doesn't really help because you can just use reuse the front axles. Um, now what would be useful is if it came with the rear axle stubs because if you were going to make your own axles you can use um, those rear axle stubs to put into the R180 and then you get new races for inside here off the internet and then you could make your own axle and use the R180. So I just got the clutch off here. I had stopped this, uh, I tried to stop a leak coming from this plate of oil. It looks like I was successful because there's no oil dripping down. The rear main seal was brand new. That looks fine. And uh, last time I actually tightened up some of these oil pan bolts. So that looks a little bit better now too. Uh, probably could use a good degreasing, but yeah. Got the clutch and the flywheel off. So we'll see if anybody can use those parts. Uh, clutch has at most 10,000 miles on it. Flywheel is brand new and they've always been run together, so. All right, so I'm making good progress working on the six-speed swap into the twin-turbo EG33 Impreza. So far, I've actually mounted the transmission. I uh, put the clutch and flywheel on, and uh, the things I have left are um, finishing the shift linkage and installing the rear differential, installing the drive shaft. I'm waiting on the shift linkage now, but um, I'll probably try to put the differential in next. Uh, I'll just show you a hit bolted to the bell housing here. So you can see this is the six speed on this side, back of the EG33 right there. So here is part of the puzzle I was waiting on. This is an R160 with the 3.9 final drive. Because I ran the 06 transmission in this, I had the 3.7 final drive. Um, but this is what we'll need to retain the rear axles and hubs that came with the car. Uh, this shouldn't be anything special, it's just a junkyard. R160, so. Hoping not to douse the shop in more gear oil. Looks like I might be doing so. It is wrapped up and looks a little greasy in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they put caps on it, but 
Not in this case, it looks like. Oh! We do have a cap on there. That's nice. And she is crusty. Pretty much got all the things to finish the six speed swap and I am looking at the shifter linkage which just showed up. So on the left here we have the shift linkage from the 2009 Subaru Legacy GT Spec B. And here we have the shift linkage from a 2004 WRX STI. Definitely looks a lot crustier than the Spec B but I'll try to use the newer shift linkage that I have here and all we really need is this bar and this bar so everything else should be able to be reused wow lots of shifting there's going to be shifting in here. Here's the drive shaft I scored from the junkyard. There's almost no rust at all on it, and it's looking fine, especially if you compare it to the rear diff back there. So right now I'm just trying to turn it around to get the last two uh, bolts in the tail shaft. So this automatic impressive drive shaft, pretty much anyone from 1998 all the way up to 2007, will work to do an STI swap into an Impreza or Forester with uh, keeping the R160 in the back. You need a 3.9 R160 depending on the ratio of six speed you go with. But it's gonna work out well for me.